Dr. J, welcoming you to this video in which we are going to talk about genital organs in the newborn. Now, in both males and females, the genital organs at birth are large and swollen. And that's mainly because of two reasons. Number one, because of hormones, hormones from the mother and the baby hormones as well. And number two, because of birth trauma at the time of delivery. The labia majora or the outer lip of, of the vagina in the small girls appear swollen and in between the labia you can often see a pink small tissue which is called the hymenal tag. This is normal and nothing to be worried about. Now sometimes mothers get very frightened and very scared that when they open the diaper in a newborn baby girl and often find a discharge, a mucousy discharge over there, sometimes tinged with blood. This is normal. This is because of the hormones that have been passed from the mother to the baby, and this will disappear in a couple of weeks' time. So this is absolutely normal. The second thing I want to talk about is inguinal hernias. Inguinal hernias are swelling on one or both sides of the, of the lower abdomen. Now, the testes in the process of development, when the baby is in the mother's womb, it develops in the abdomen, travels down, comes down through a canal called the inguinal canal and lodges in the scrotum. Similarly, the ovaries travel through the same canal and go and lodge in the abdomen. Now, once this process is complete before birth, this canal closes. However, in about 5% of babies, this canal remains patent. So what happens after birth is that intestine tends to come out of this patent canal and causes a swelling in the, in the lower abdomen. So the mother opens the diaper, sees the swelling there, gets worried. Now this swelling is painless. It's reducible. You can always push it back. And when you push it back, there's a gurgling sound because of the gas in the intestine. It can grow in size, the baby cries, because of extra pressure uh, on the abdomen. Now, this does require surgery, because this is not going to repair on its own. However, it is not an emergency. You can go to the doctor and plan the surgery. In certain cases, if the intestine comes out and coils and gets twisted, it causes strangulation. Now, when that happens, that is a medical emergency. It becomes hard, non-reducible, the child starts to vomit, there may be abdominal distension, there may be temperature, and the child starts to look very ill. So in that condition, you rush the baby to the emergency room and let the surgeon take care of it. The third condition is hydrocele. Now, hydrocele is simply a collection of fluid in the scrotum. Small hydrocele's will usually go away within the first few months of life. Larger hydrocele's can take up to a year. In very rare cases, if the hydrocele has not gone away, then it requires a tiny little bit of surgery where the surgeon nicks the sac and drains the fluid out. But by and large, hydrocele's will go away on their own. The last condition we will talk about is undescended testes. Now, if you remember, I was speaking earlier that the testis comes from the abdomen, descends down into the scrotum. For some reason, if the testis cannot find its way down, it can either remain in the abdomen or it can get stuck in the canal, in the inguinal canal. Now, 30% of preterm babies and 4% of term babies are born with undescended testes. But 50% of all these cases will resolve within the first six months of life. There's another condition called retractile testis, where the testis moves up and down. It's in, in, in the scrotum uh, one moment, then tends to go up into the canal. From the canal, it comes down and goes. Now, this does not require any treatment. This fixes on its own uh, within a few months. Now, really, I just want to tell all parents never to be ashamed about the fact that the child has got retractile testis. Because in my practice, I have seen mothers who are reluctant to discuss this problem with the doctor. Please don't do that. Because if you don't treat this condition earlier on, it can lead to complications. Number one, 
if the testes is lying in the abdomen because of the high temperature in the abdomen, the structure of the testes gets destroyed. And number two, the incidence of tumors rises in undescended testes. So if there is a case of undescended testes in your child and you do not find the, 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 the testes in the scrotum, mention it to your doctor because he will examine the child, probably do an ultrasound, try and locate where the testis is, and then plan the surgery accordingly because it must be dealt with and don't leave it alone like this. Thank you for watching this video. I shall see you in the next one soon.